Things like this hardly ever happen. In fact, this hasn't happened in over a year. And the way that this happened, it's just very unexplainable. Well, we joined in on a multiplayer server and within seconds, we spotted this guy. There's a huge Rocky Mountain Bull and he's actually dying potential. He's out there at about 250 yards out from us, but we're not even really ready to start recording yet. So as I'm telling you this, we literally are, well, I'm eating breakfast right now, just watching this massive bull, still trying to get some energy ready to be able to decide on how we're going to do this and what we're going to do about taking down this big bull, where he's going to go. I have no clue what's going to happen. So right now we're just watching him, kind of scouting him out, and then we're going to go after him as soon as I finish breakfast. Holy, we just found a couple of monster Rocky Mountain Bulls out here. We got a real decent bull there, and that is another huge bull, but there's an even bigger bull right over there. We're going to have to try and somehow get a shot off here at about 450 yards on that bull. All right, check this out. All right, what do we got up there? Well, that's going to slow him down, I'll tell you that. We got some mountain lions up there. About 300. Oh, we almost hit that one an accident. Whoops. Oh my God, that had so much potential. All right, well, at least we know where they're drinking at right down here from four o'clock till eight in the morning. But these mountain lions are gonna get a little bit ridiculous here. I don't know if it's some kind of glitch or some kind of bug going on, but this map, Parque Fernando, and any map that has mountain lions or pumas, they just keep on growling and they will not stop until you take a shot on them. They absolutely will not stop. So they definitely ran right up here somewhere. I would say somewhere around here is where they should be. And seriously, All right, hopefully that spooks him. Sheesh. Well, either way, we got a nice little wide open canyon up here and we should be able to spot where these bulls ran off to. Looks like we have a bunch of turkey tracks here, but not one single elk track. Yep. I'm honestly completely blown away that we can't find any of these elk. We literally had four big bulls, including one absolute monster. We can't find a single track or spot a single bull. All right, so the last place we saw that giant dime potential Rocky Mountain bull is right over there. He was working his way across this lake here. Oh my God, there he is. Look at the rack on that thing. There he is right there, 300 yards out. He's pretty broadside. We better be careful though, because there's a lot of mountain lions in this area and we don't want to wait too long to get a shot off. Look at all those elk out there. All right, he's gonna sit right there, right on that point and not quite give us a shot. Not quite, but that is so according to that he's about 315 i think if we hold for the heart for 300 that should be smoked we got him oh my god that's a big bull and he's going down right there holy what a heck of a bull right down there there's yet another good bull over there somewhere um well no actually that's not even the same one that we saw from before I forgot about that. The one that we saw from before and the big ones are over. Well, they should have been over there. Those are all cows. Um, I'm a little bit confused, but I know for sure there are definitely three big level four Rocky Mountain Bulls over there. And these ones here are not big at all. In fact, that's a tiny three, tiny three, decent four and a decent four, but they're they're nowhere near the size of the bulls that we saw from before. Nowhere near. But at this point, it doesn't really matter much. All that matters is we got the biggest one down already. And man, I am pumped. 
Well, guys, take a look at what's right in front of us here. Look at the rack sticking up out of this grass. What a bull. Oh, my God. What a bull. We've been looking for one of these for over one year now. And this has a chance. It's going to be a diamond, a 485 diamond Rocky Mountain Bull. We pulled off a 312 yard perfect double lung shot. And we finally got ourselves a diamond Rocky Mountain Bull. So he's on the smaller side. Our, our biggest Rocky Mountain Diamond is 505, but it's still a diamond. And man, that makes me absolutely pumped. These things are so difficult to run across. And even when you do, the odds of this being a diamond is still super rare. Many times it's gonna score like a 460 or 470s. So the fact that we broke that 480 mark is pretty incredible. But there he is, our monster diamond. Rocky Mountain Bull. And we took him down with a new AR 300 Magnum. Well, let's get him mounted. Let's get him mounted. All right, so we did get him mounted and now we're trying to find the rest of that herd of bulls that we saw from before. Now, I'm not sure if they're even around here anymore or what happened, but it's almost as if they never were even here. Unless maybe they might be in this brush right here. That's the only thing that I can think which could potentially make sense as to why we can't see them right now. Otherwise, we should be able to spot them. There's a chance. Oh, right there. Yeah. And that's the end of that mountain lion. I was going to say, there's a chance that that could be the reason why we're not seeing any of these Rocky Mountain Bulls. To be quite honest. Because they should have been here. They really should have. Well, we'll look around and see if we can't get lucky to find them. But we took a 150 yard intestine liver lung shot there on that gray female mountain lion. We're about to head to the next location here and search for either some big muley or potentially even another giant Rocky Mountain Bull. But we spotted this guy here and we're gonna have to go for a shot on him. It's a huge mythical mountain lion, 320 yards out. So if we don't go for a shot on him, he's gonna potentially spook everything in this area. Boy, this AR-300 really does work nice on almost everything. Oh, well, it's okay. So we did spook our bull, but he's not spooked that much. If you look here, you can see the lake is right here. And here's our mountain lion laying right over here. It was about a 320 yard shot. So let's see how we did. Ended up getting a beautiful double lung shot, 327 yards. Got him a little bit higher than what I was trying to get. 37.73, and that's gonna give us almost 1200 cash. We're still looking for any sign that we can to find that big Rocky Mountain Bull, but until then, we just found this guy. A really nice Billy Mountain Goat at 150 yards. And that's gonna be taking him down. We just took him down with a 4570 break action pistol. All right, here he is. Let's pick him up, and he's going to score 94.31 gold. He's a very nice mountain goat, and we took him down at 156 yards. Well, what if I told you that we just found that same exact herd of bulls since the very beginning, right over there? I don't know where they were or how they got there, but all of a sudden now we happen to have every single bull that we saw before right in front of us, including... The absolute giant 430 plus bull. Now, he was broadside, of course, but currently he is not even in a spot where we can get a shot off. Although, if that's him there, which, oh, it is him. We already got him hit. Oh my God, we hit that bull. Holy. Okay. So we can clearly see our bull is right there at this point. And now we got to double check the distance of this bull. That's going to be a 400 yard shot right there. About 415. 
So basically, if we hold right on top of the shoulder, we should drop in there and get lung. Either way, we gotta make this shot count. Boy, that looked good. And it was. He's going down right there. Oh, we could have doubled up. I don't know why I hesitated so long on that follow-up shot. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That is not the right herd of elk. Though it is a herd of elk, it's not the right one. Our elk went this way. Up that hill. Which is why we couldn't find him before. Oh, hold up. Well, that's a good bull there. I don't know if that's the same herd or not. That actually may very well be the herd that we're looking for. Either way, that bull there is broadside and we're going for a shot. 250 yards out. And that should be smoked. He is. And he's going down. All right, so we just doubled up. Hopefully, we got the right bull. Well, I know there was one that had a minimum of 390. Uh, that's him right there, as a matter of fact. Absolutely no way that we got that bull, but we got to hit into him. At this point, I'll take it. Oh, I just realized that we don't have any indication as to where our big bull went down. Since we haven't, we're not going to need anything because he's piled up right there. Look at that. Oh my God. Here he is down right here. I was just sitting there thinking, how are we going to find this thing? It's going to be so tough because there's no tracks, nothing. And all of a sudden he's just laying right here. He's just laying right here. We finally got him down. But thanks to this bull, it led us to our giant diamond Rocky Mountain bull. So that's why this bull here is so special. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 436 gold. And we pulled off a 400 yard left lung shot. But not before. We tried for a 440 yard shot and we actually were just a little bit high as well as far back. Overall, it was close, really close. I mean, a running bull at 450 yards, that's pretty close. But 436, I believe his minimum estimate was like 434, so he didn't score very high considering his estimate. But still, he's still a monster bull. He's still an absolute monster bull. I mean, don't get me wrong. that is a beautiful Rocky Moan Bull. And honestly, that pose right there is kind of incredible. I really like that a lot. Well, I was gonna say we should probably look for blood, but rather than that, how about we just look for a big rack sticking up? And that's exactly what we did right here. Look at this bull piled up. We got him. That's gonna be a 270 yard left lung shot and a 420 gold. That was the bull that we took quartering away there at almost 300 yards and a light gray as well. So again, an incredible looking Rocky Mountain bull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. <laughs> Man, I love this rifle. So even though we hit him far back, the power of the 300 AR Magnum, it literally went right through the intestine, liver and lung. Probably even came out the shoulder on the other side. It's going to be a 135. So the one side was big, but the other side was absolutely tiny. And that's exactly what we hit. Intestine, liver, and... Well, intestine, stomach, and liver. But again, that penetration is untouchable. No way. Look at what we just found. About 10 minutes later. That is a giant dime potential muley. Now he's out there about 280 yards and of course we happen to have the new single shot break action 4570 pistol which we will be using to take the shot but he's about 280 yards out we got to get a little bit closer and we also happen to have a mountain lion slowly 
approaching us here, so we can't spend too much time. All right, right there, we got him at 270. 260. The estimate is not super high on this, but I mean, he easily could be low 310, 315s. And I believe like 312 and up is diamond, so yeah, he's got a chance. He's definitely got a chance. All right, here we go 250 yards. Perfect shot. He smoked. And he's going down right there. All right, let's get over there and go take a look at this monster muley we took down with a new 4570 pistol. All right, here he lays. He looks pretty big. And he's going to be a gold, a 302.60 gold, but we pulled off a double lung shot at 245 yards. Still an absolute monster, monster muley. Look at the rack on that thing there. I kind of had a feeling that he wasn't quite big enough to be diamond, but I knew he'd be close. Either way, he's a monster. We decided to go back and try and find that black bear to find out exactly how big he was. So what we ended up doing is setting up a tree stand here because unfortunately the location is too close to this outpost here, which is only a hundred yards away and the bear never would. What the? We got some elk approaching us. All right. But anyways, we set up a tree stand here and now we have our bear right here. It's a big level seven. I was hoping he'd be a little bit bigger, but he's still quite impressive. Out there, 200 yards out. And we're gonna be able to take him by using the silhouette. Just absolutely smoked him. And he's down right there. Wow. Yeah, that took uh, a lot of effort to be able to get this all completed here at first we set up a stand here and nothing came out so what happened is we had to change the time back to well he eats around midnight until four o'clock in the morning so we initially tried two o'clock then we came here before midnight and we basically got here before he got here and then once he showed up we were able to see him so it all worked out in the end and we got him And here's our bear piled up right here. Let's have a look. All right, so that's gonna be a 218 yard double lung shot, but it's gonna be a 21.20, wait a second. That is almost a diamond, 21.24 monster, monster gold black bear. And he's a dusky. He weighed 503 pounds. Now, how cool would that be if that was a diamond? I don't believe we've gotten a diamond dusky before, especially not the new fur like this one here. That is one massive black bear and what an incredible fur coat. Fur coat as well. All right, well, on that note, that's gonna be it for this video. We ended up taking down... <clears throat> All right, well, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. We ended up taking down a huge diamond Rocky Mountain Bull in the very beginning, followed by a bunch of massive bulls as well. Then we took down this guy. So, yeah, it was one heck of an awesome hunt. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.